Hey, it's Yash, and in this video we're going to cover how to use the Fine Company source in clay. Whenever you're creating a new table in clay, remember that you have the option to create a workbook or a table. A workbook is simply a collection of tables, so we always recommend that you create a workbook first to keep your data organization clean and easy. When you create a blank new workbook, you'll immediately see five import options, or you can browse all the different sources available to you directly from the sources modal. We'll cover the Find Companies option in this lesson, and we have a wide ranging list of factors that we'll use to potentially filter our companies down. This is where it's important to focus on your company's ICP, or ideal customer profile, in order to narrow your list down to segments that will work really well for your targeting and personalization. For the sake of this example, we're gonna pretend that I'm building a list for Clay, specifically for our mid-market to enterprise sales org. Let's dive in. First, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new workbook here in my table folder. Then, I'm going to choose this Find Company Source option that I mentioned before. Now, I'm going to specify the industry here down to software development companies. We have tons of other companies that we help and serve at Clay, but the messaging and problems felt are different, so I'm going to focus this first list build on software alone. Then, for headcount, because we're building for the mid-market to enterprise segment, I'm going to choose all companies with more than 500 employees. Also because I know that the issues these kinds of companies face with CRM hygiene issues are fundamentally different from smaller companies. And that's what I'm going to touch on in the email copy that we'll eventually write. Finally, since Clay is based in New York, I'm going to choose to build a list of companies only based in New York and then offer to meet up in real life or at somebody's office instead of over the traditional Zoom call. Now, when I preview this list, I'm going to get a result of around 162 companies. That's not bad, especially for a more targeted campaign that I'm going to run for real in-person meetings. If I wanted to go a little bit larger to cast a wider net for my outreach, I could do a couple of things to modify this list. I could remove the filter for New York, preview those companies, add industries, look at different headcounts, and you'll notice from here already, we've exploded that list size to 6,820. But for this demonstration and example, we're going to keep it to New York, keep it to our 162 companies, and use that to build out the rest of these lessons and flows. Keep in mind, it's important to adjust these filters continuously and rigorously when you're building your lists because you want to be fine-tuning them to exactly the parameters that are most relevant for your company. Once you're ready to import, the last thing you'll notice is that you come across this import option screen, which gives you a range of defaults to add to your final company table. When you're first getting started in Clay, don't add any of these default enrichments to your table because that's how you quickly burn through trial credits. Once you've got a full and clear grasp of how enrichments work in Clay, then feel free to use this default enrichment option to speed up your Clay table building. For now, we're just going to go ahead with basic company profiles, import this entire list for free, and watch the results quickly flow into a brand new company's table. From here, we're going to want to add more flavor and color to our data, so we're going to dig in to enriching data with different integrations and waterfalls in the next lesson. See you there!